Hello there. Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at lake databases within Synapse Analytics and specifically any issues that you might find with data types. There's one little issue that you might find when creating external tables over data in the data lake, publishing those tables and then querying. Okay, so we're going to jump in to Synapse Studio. I'm going to click on my data tab. Okay, I've already got a script open. We're going to return to this script. Pay particular attention to this sys.external tables. It's a table that essentially holds the registered tables within our lake database. So in my workspace, I've got nothing there yet. So I'm going to create a new, brand new, fresh out of the box lake database. And let's call it data web telemetry. Okay, now I'm going to select as my link service just uh, the default storage account. And I'm going to browse to where the data is. So I'm going to go down to source data. And all the data is in Parquet, except actually one source of data. The type of data that we're querying isn't important in this video. It's more the data types we're assigning in the external tables. Okay. So once I've created my lake database, I'm going to publish that. And as you can see, I can you know, see the lake database in the workspace data window. Okay. Now I've not got any, any tables yet. So now what we're going to do, so I'm going to hide that properties window. I'm going to create a new table. Now, yes, you can use the database templates, but I'm going to create fresh, brand new tables from scratch, directly from the data lake. I'm going to select my storage account. And within my data lake, I'm going to look at my source data and I've just got some, let's say, dimension data. OK, we're going to use customer and we're going to use product. OK, so I'm going to select customer. And uh, I'll call it dim customer. OK, when I click continue, as you can see, I've got a couple of wildcard characters there. So it's going to go off, have a look at that folder and try and return me a schema. So if I pre preview that data, we've got data back. So it successfully navigated the data lake, found the data and returned. OK, now I know that I'm going to reduce the maximum string length of that table because I have nothing in there that's 4,000 characters. So we'll create, scroll down and we've got our table. I'll add two more tables. I go back in to the lake house. I'll go down to my source data, go to sales data, and I will pick product. Okay, I've got my product parquet. I'll call this dim product. Continue again. I know that there's nothing in there over 5,000. However, for this example, I'm going to keep it set to 4,000. Okay, there's our data. I'm going to create. There's our DIM product. The last table I'll bring in is, for all intents and purposes, the fact table. It's where all the web telemetry is stored that I would like to analyze with product and customers. So I'm going to go in, go to my source data, web sales, nope, source data. I have in here. Uh, web telemetry, here we go. And I've got then a partitioned uh, folder structure. So I'll call that uh, fact web telemetry. We'll continue. It will traverse the directories, hopefully see my data. Here we go. There's my data. 
And I know that there are n no character columns that are longer than 100 characters. So I'm going to set it to 100. Now, if I just zoom to fit, OK, I'll get rid of the uh, quick navigation. We can see three tables. OK, dim customer, dim product, fact, web, telemetry. Fantastic. I can see those three tables. Oh, not yet. Let me publish. So I'm going to hit publish. That's then going to deploy the definition to the database. If I then refresh the tables, I'll see my three external tables. OK, I can see dim customer. I can see dim product and I can see fact web telemetry. All good so far. So now I'd like to query those tables. So I'm going to flick back to my script. And I'm not going to query sys external tables yet. I'm going to query dim customer. OK, now I'll select the database. So let me just refresh. And I've got my data web telemetry. Click run. And hey, presto, I've got my customer data. I'll run web telemetry. I'll select top all. And no data. That, that's because in my web telemetry, because, and this is one of the new features actually of Lake Databases, if I go into the storage settings, um, I actually don't have um, a recognizable partition scheme, i.e., folder name equals value. So, you know, event year equals 2022, event month equals 02. I've just got you know, the year, the month and the date. It's just a dump of data. So what I have to do is I have to actually put some wildcards in here. I was actually going to do a video specifically on wildcards. So we're going to go year, month, day. OK, now I might need to do this a couple of times to get this right. Let's have a look. Let's query the web telemetry data. And we'll have one more year, month, day. All. And publish that. Go back and query. Okay, let's go back. Let's just browse the data. Make sure I've got the location right. So web sales, web telemetry, 22.02 date. It's our as well. So it really is the rawest of raw web telemetry data. So I'll click that, go to the end, last one, because there's four folders, year, month, day, and hour. Go back, select from web telemetry, and we've got our data. Okay, a little bit of a sidetrack there. I'm gonna do another video on the wildcard characters used in table locations. Super handy to be able to edit and put sort of custom folder hierarchies in there. However, as you can see, we've got data. It's been returned. I now run my select on dim product and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get an error. Invalid object name dim product. I can see it. It's here. OK, it's in my Lake database. OK, I was able to publish it successfully. But I can't query it. If I have a look at the sys external tables, this is a system table that shows me all of the external tables that have been registered in the database in my serverless SQL pools, you know, or sorry, Lake database data web telemetry, but it's not visible. Now, I could go back to here. I could try and publish again. It won't be visible. It was only when I noticed the data types weren't quite correct. And what I mean by this is if I click on a table, I've got a columns tab. If I click columns, 
I have a list of all the identified columns. You, you can enter a description here if you like. Let's say, you know, the product name. Okay, you can add some metadata. There's a data type. You can format the length so I can say, well, actually, there are no product names that are longer than 200 characters. However, when I was scrolling through this list, I realised this column, thumbnail photo, which is a binary data type in the source parquet file, did not have a data type associated with it. I can either remove that column or select a data type. Now, I know it's a binary data type, so I'm going to click binary. OK, so now all my data types are assigned. OK, and you can look, I, I can set date formats for date time columns. I have integers, I've got decimals, I've got strings, so I can set my data types correctly as per the individual columns. OK, I'm going to check dim customer, go into columns, all assigned a data type. Won't go into each individual column in this video. We go into web telemetry, and again, you know, we've got some data types here. Okay, actually, I'm going to change user ID to uh, an integer because I know it's an integer plus product ID. Okay, and I could also create some relationships between those tables. So we won't look at relationships in this video. Now, if I go back into publish, publish those changes, wait for those to complete, go back, query from external tables. Now, it can take a few seconds to register. The table is now registered. I can go and select from my product table. So there we go. It's just a very short video just to go through. If you're using Lake Databases and you're creating external tables through the database designer, which I really, really think is a great way of creating a schema, a representation of data that's external, that's in a data lake. But you do need to check to make sure the data types are set correctly. If the data types are actually missing, you'll be able to publish, but you won't be able to query. So I hope that's been helpful. Check the rest of the channel for videos around Synapse Analytics. If you're new here, you'd like to subscribe, please subscribe, and there'll be more Synapse videos soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.